Good morning, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica of Higher Realm Holistics, Lady V here. Uh, thank you, subscribers, supporters, Patreons, well wishers, um, and uh, everyone who joined in last night for the um, for the uh, for the live stream. And um, my website is HigherRealmHolistics.com. I also have a blog. I keep forget mentioning my blog. It's DivineYoungSouls.Blogspot.com. That's DivineYoungSouls.Blogspot.com. Just put in Divine Young Souls and it'll pop up, okay? And it starts in 2013 and it, the first videos talk about my first interaction with uh, with ascension I've always been awakened to a degree it's just the ascension for me started December 23rd 2012 any which ways and if you're interested in sessions my book webinars higher realm holistic webinars I'm having one higher realm magic webinars for uh, the magician and the alchemist in you that is Sunday. I'm having it Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time coming up. And uh, if you're interested in um, my tees, hoodies, really cool looking hoodies, um, Light Warrior hoodies, Rainbow Light Warrior, things like that, you could um, go to my website, higherrealmholistics.com, Lady Beast Tees, okay? So, how you feeling this morning <laughs> from last night? I'm getting many interesting emails. I'm reading the comments. Um, yeah, rather intense, isn't it? I've been doing this, the whole timeline thing, timeline collapsing, timeline jumping for two and a half years now. Um, last year, that is when it became um, from like every, every time it got more and more intense, you know, from smaller, from less um, low, because um, it's always the way folks, so, shows it to me it's in probabilities so the lighter work is uh it's a lower probability of that timeline happening of that negative timeline happening and I also was doing more personal timelines with lower probabilities of occurring so those were the easier ones to collapse and then as I got better at it and time passed I was guided because I don't do this on purpose, okay? I was guided to, I don't sit there and say, okay, I'm going to go collapse this timeline. No. For those who participated and you really got into it, you got a little taste of what I have gone through. It is very physically taxing. Yes, the blurry visions, the shakiness, the headaches, um, your third eye, your crown chakra, all your chakras going berserk. Shooting electrical pain, yes, <laughs> that's a big one. The shooting, you feel like electricity shooting throughout your body or your whole body's like zipping around, your skin vibrating, you're vibrating, everything looks different. You look in the mirror, it's like one day you're looking 10 years younger, next day you're looking five years older. You wake up, you're 10 pounds heavier, the next day you're eight pounds lighter. Yes, yes, it's so subtle, but now you're in it <clears throat> okay you'll be more and more aware of it okay and those subtleties will be like glaring in your face okay and it, you will have more of those um what do they call them mandela effects that's all it is it's a timeline that collapsed <laughs> that's the secret that's a, it's a timeline that collapsed so like what happened to me the other day in the middle of, of filming. It's like, okay, I collapsed the timeline that morning and then the entire part of the dock where I was riding my bike, the entrance that I always go in was gone. Half of the dock was freaking gone. Okay. And then the ocean looked so crazy, which I've never, ever seen over 10 years of living there and going to the exact same spot. I've never seen it look like that. I was able to catch it on camera where it looked like ice. Yes. Yes, that is what the Mandela effect is all about. It's timeline collapsing. Oh, a blue jay. I've never seen one around here over the water. Um, 
that is what the time that's the timeline collapsing those are the effects so you might notice little strange oddities people acting different you know might be something big like an exit missing or a street looking completely different yesterday i went to go get my eyebrows done finally and um the color of the nail of the nail salon that i go to it does my eyebrows was different and i walked in i was just like and the technician who's known me for years she's like what's wrong with you now <laughs> and i'm like wasn't this place green no it was always white i was like no it was green it was green the last time i was here and why does it look bigger oh why don't you take off those sunglasses maybe it's the sunglasses i took off the sunglasses i said no 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 no, no. this is totally different i was like oh that's right i did two coll timeline collapses pretty big ones two days in a well for the past four days, three days, the same collapse of the timeline. Now the collapse, the timeline I had been working on for a while and that we worked on yesterday together collectively, that was the New World Order timeline, <clears throat> okay? If you are guided to go back and do it again, do it again. Um, more than likely, now that you're hooked into it, you will be doing it in your sleep, quote unquote. We don't really sleep. Those of we don't really sleep. Uh, maybe for a couple hours, but the rest we're working. Literally, we're working. So now that you're tapped in, you'll probably be doing it in your quote-unquote sleep, your altered state, as I call it. But you'll become the more you do it, the more aware you'll becoming. You might already be aware. The more and more aware, and the more you'll realize that you are in this altered state. You're in this alternate universe you're in that different string think of the string theory you're in that different string that different probability okay and when you're calling back your energy and calling back your light you're taking your energy back that went into that and you're able to shrink it down make it less probable take it from <clears throat> a 50 percent probability of occurring to a 30 percent probability of occurring okay and that's why i was guided by lord rama to get a lot of us together to take a huge chunk out of it to make it less probable now here's the thing that you also have to understand fear is a great factor okay we know this fear is used to strengthen those lower 4d timelines okay and they especially want the fear to to make that new world order timeline a probability okay here's the thing they have people that <clears throat> go into those timelines that's going back and forth through time doing all those things to make that timeline a big uh, a higher probability of occurring they're using they 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 have to use they have to use machinery to do it okay just know that they have to use machinery to do it they do have some people that are able to do it on their own but nine times out of ten they have to inject themselves with medication that's why i say you know, and I said this last year and I had so many people attacking me to let go of the crutches. And I know more and more of you who've continued to use it into this year. And I especially said, clean yourselves out because the more we get into 2019, because of the energies being more intense, you're going to be tripping real bad. And that's what's going on for a lot of people, you know. So, you know, with the ayahuasca in the pot. So and other other drugs you use to get yourselves into your altered states, you have to be able to do it on your own. You have to be able to do it on your own. Meanwhile, you know, the negative 4D beings, the negative 4D ones, whatever the uh, humans, the, the humans who are working with them and all that, they're busy injecting themselves with stuff to get to that state. All we had to do yesterday was call in a divine master, an ascended master who's part of his job's doing this. Thoth is another one, but you have to be a certain level to call Thoth. And he comes to you. Well, Rama came to me also. Um, and Rama was a big uh, timeline soldier back in his time. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, you're able to do it on your own. All we had to do was was follow the instructions of looking into using the Metatron's cube to form a portal to transport us 
in there. And we didn't even have to go into an altered state to do it. We were able to do it just like that. Okay? That is how intense and big the, uh, the, the stargates are open right now. And yes, I know about 8-8 Lions Gate opening. A lot of people ask me what I'm going to do that. I don't know. I don't know yet. I, I go by the seat of my pants. My higher self has the driver's seat. I am my higher self. And I just surrender to the moment. Okay? Um, last August, last Lion Gate, uh, several days before, like especially three days before the Lion's Gate, I was bedridden. I couldn't work. I couldn't do anything because nothing looked solid. I couldn't even... I had to call my, I was staying with a friend in New York, that's why I was doing the contract in New York, and her son and her had to each go on either side of me because I didn't feel I had legs. My body didn't look solid to me, and the floor was not solid. Everything was little pixels, and I felt like I was just going through everything. So if it was like that last year, I don't know what's going to be like that for me this year, okay? So who the heck knows? I thought I was going to disappear last year. I honestly, truly did. I was, I was like, I'm going to disappear. I, I really did. So who knows? So I don't know what I'm going to be called to, to do this year. Okay. But um, <clears throat> just know there's no reason to fear. And yes, now that you've um, interjected yourself into that timeline, they could see you. Okay. Just know that. And yes, they'll try to scare you off. But you have no fear. Just know that you're able to do it on your own. They have to use machinery. They have to use drugs. They're weaker than you. They're no match for you. Just know that. They're no match for you whatsoever. There is nothing to fear. They could chase you. They could grab you. All you got to do is bring yourself back. Here. Take yourself out of that timeline. That's all you have to do. Close your eyes and you're back. No matter what. I've been shot at, stabbed, grabbed, choked, things sprayed into my mouth. And all I do is get right back to here. That's it. And yeah, there are some side effects because you come back, you're bruised, you're cut. And, you know, sometimes it takes me a couple days to recover, especially after something really brutal um, happens. Uh, but it's just part of, you know, I, I soldier on. That's all it is to it, you know. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, that was really important to say. And, you know, I'm leaving that live stream up there. If you got it to do it again, you do it again. It's up to you. Just know that, yeah, it's intense and it'll get more and more intense. And then you just get used to it where it's just part of the job. And, um, yeah, there aren't that many of us that could do this. Okay. Um, every light worker, light warrior has their programming their abilities. Okay. And there are, we are like the fringe of the fringe. It's like an elite force, <laughs> you know, everyone has their special compartments, you know, we're like the Navy. We are literally, we're like the Navy seals of, of the military. We are like the Navy seals of the military. Okay. That's basically it. And on top of the timeline thing, you will also be able to go off planet interdimensional off planet. You could find yourself in another planet. You'll know where you are. Sometimes I don't know exactly where I am, but the only times I was taken like out of this solar system region way out was when I was with Thoth and we were just doing stuff all night long. That was only a couple of times because I, that night I thought I wasn't going to come back. I was, thought I was going to die basically. You know, I really did not because my body was just that. It just took that much because you're transmuting so much energy. You're taking so much through you. Um, you could end up sleeping like, feel like you need to sleep for days, days, because you just, your body went through so much and you transmuted so much energy. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I go a lot off planet. I go a lot off planet um, where there's like slave colonies where they took humans, especially Mars, they're out there and ships also ships in our solar system to help rescue people and to collapse those timelines and to and just to, you know, expose things. I've done that and you'll start doing it, too. If you're called to, you'll start doing it, too. 
All right. So, yeah, it sounds crazy. I know it's like, it's just like I've just accepted it because there's no denying it. And then, uh, you know, just like like being in a special forces, you can't tell too many people because people think you're crazy at the stuff you do. But you know what? They've been doing it. And now we just got we have that we're just coming into our power. We're coming into realizing our power. Always remember, you are more powerful than them. You're more powerful than them. Okay? You are more powerful than them. There's nothing to fear because you're more powerful than them. That's all you have to remember. Okay? And yeah, you'll bump into other masters. You'll bump into Yeshua. Okay? You'll, like yesterday, day before yesterday, um, I had Mother Mary come up as an aberration. She was golden white. Um, and, uh, she came to help with my sister and to help me with some other stuff. And, uh, she like, they have different incarnations. And she said to refer to her as the queen of angels, because she is the queen of angels also. So, um, and told me what to do. And then (laughs) she came to me. She came to, uh, my twin nieces she came to my sister's BFF, my younger sister's BFF, who's my good friend also, and my sister. And how we all know it is we were all told to get red roses. And my sister's like, I just got a dozen red roses that bloomed and the whole house smells like roses. It's crazy. And then I came home, the, the two little ones, they were doing the rosary. I was like, wow. And then my sister's best friend told my sister, told my younger sister to go buy a dozen roses and get a statue of Mary as the queen of angels. So we, she came to all of us. So the masters are here. They're alive with us. Just know this. They're real. They're real. All of them. And they work together. They work side by side. There is no separation. There is no religion. You're people like, you know, again, yeah, the, the, the comments have calmed down because I've squashed it and gone after these people, you know, who say, oh, you're white Jesus. You're white this. You're... <laughs> Oh, oh, I feel so sorry. That's why I keep saying. I feel so sorry for you. You know, you bless their hearts. They're ignorant as fuck. <laughs> you know, and uh, hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll awaken. They think they're awakened. They're not. Okay? So, soldier on, y'all. This is for real. Okay? So, maybe we'll bump into each other on a timeline. <coughs> or off planet. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm losing my voice. Okay, take it easy, you guys. Talk to you later. Go to highrealmholistics.com. Still room and space in the webinar for Saturday. If you're interested, if you're ready to, to be open to meeting your soulmate, bringing in your soulmate, if, you're, if you feel that you're ready. Okay, bye. Lady B out.